Hey, Topping in Life's Math and History, and we are going to take a look at y equals mx plus b, or a slope word problem. So, we meant taking a look at the slope intercept, the point slope, the slope, yeah, the slope intercept, and the standard form. But what we're going to do is use a real life situation and see what we can do about it by making an equation and then graphing it. Justin buys an ice cream with two toppings for $6. Jake buys an ice cream at the same place of five toppings for $10.50. Write an equation for the cost of ice cream plus the toppings, then graph it on a computer. So we know for Justin, he was the first to come. He, his total ice cream cost was six dollars, right? But we had two toppings on them, so we're gonna divide by two. The toppings are gonna cost some kind of money, but we don't know what kind of money. So six divided by two is three. So an ice cream without the toppings would become three dollars. For Jake, he's the second come to person that comes to the ice cream shop. His total was 10.50 and he bought five toppings. If you do 10.50 divided by five, you're going to get an answer of and the ice cream. We know that the cost of an ice cream without any toppings is going to be three. And we also know that if you have six and two, but we have three, but the total is six, then there's gotta be some three difference. But Justin bought two toppings for the ice cream. So three divided by two equals 1.5. And I would also apply for Jake as well. So to formulate this into a problem for slope intercept, the total cost of the ice cream as y is gonna be equal to 1.5x plus 3. So x represents the number of toppings. If you want in a different idea, instead of a decimal, y equals 3 over 2x plus 3. That is another way we can rewrite the equation, but in the same format. So that is going to be our equation. But what we got to do now is actually grasp it. So yeah, if you have $3 per Jake, let's do the math on a different piece of paper. So if we start with Jake for $3, if we do y equals 1.5x plus 3, he selected 5 toppings. And that would bring us to 1.5 times 5 to 7.5. Then we add that by 3, is going to equal 10.50. $10.50 for Jake to buy or to spend on that ice cream with 5 toppings. And Y is going to represent the total cost of the ice cream. Actually, I'm going to eat dinner right now. And after that, I'm going to have some vanilla ice cream. How about that? Well, do not see video. So, before this video ends, type in the comments below what your favorite ice cream is, actually. What do you think the ice cream's gonna be? Who knows? Well, I hope this video has helped you understand y equals mx plus b, or slope-related word problems. Thank you for watching Town Ping and Lines Math Industry. Like and subscribe!